All right, so this is kind of a part three video to some other videos I've uploaded as far as playing Minecraft on a few different systems. I wanted to give a comparison um, against the next book that I had previously recorded. Uh, just to compare the size of the two, here's the next, next book. And it's not even the size of the screen of this other laptop. This has a 10.1 inch screen. And this lap is a, laptop is a 14.1 inch screen. Uh, the laptop I have here is a Latitude E. I can focus there. It's a Latitude E uh, 6410. This particular one, I'll go ahead and bring up its specs here. It's a got a Core i5 running at 2.53 gigahertz. I believe this is a Gen 1. It is running 8 gigs of RAM, which for Minecraft makes a pretty big difference in my experience. And one thing that, uh, one ace that this has up its sleeve is that it does have a dedicated video card. It has an NVIDIA NVS 3100M. So a lot, a lot of laptops don't have built-in video cards or excuse me, dedicated video cards unless you specify and pay a little bit extra for them. And that this one was, this was a business laptop that had come off lease and I was able to pick up very cheaply. And you can pick these up uh, on eBay. Dell sells a lot of these when they come off lease. I can pull this up here. I just brought up an eBay search. You know, they're anywhere from about $250 to, to $700. Uh, for this particular model laptop, depending on the configuration, I wasn't able to find this exact configuration, but ones close enough to it were in the um, 250 to 350 dollar range. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, that's definitely a, a bit more than the next book, uh, but you're also getting a bit more as far as you know, pure uh, processing power. Uh, with this machine obviously it's not as small it's not as light battery doesn't last nearly as long as it does on the next book um, but I want to go ahead and create a minecraft world here and I'm creating a brand new world so nothing's loaded I wanted to give just a quick demonstration on what kind of frame rate you can get on a system like this Takes forever to load when it first comes up. Okay. So, up there in the left corner, it's pumping out about 40 frames a second. On the next book, if you watch that video that I did, um, it, it was averaging about between 28, 25 to 30 frames a, a second. I get to where I can actually see something here. There we go. And this definitely is doing significantly better. It doesn't look like it's dropping much below 39, 38 frames a second as I scroll around. So, having a dedicated video card in this system definitely makes a huge improvement obviously I mean that's that's a pretty obvious thing that if you have a de dedicated video card your video performance will be improved um, having 8 gigs of RAM as well as a significantly faster processor also makes a fairly large difference in how a system performs so in compared to the next book obviously this is significantly better in playability and I made absolutely no changes to the graphics so everything's default with uh, Optifine uh, on this system uh, I did again I did install Optifine on this system just so that everything was the same but I did not change the the draw distance I did not change um, any of the graphic settings I did not drop anything and it obviously looks significantly better you know we're pushing 60 frames a second here if I were to go in and change just a few settings I'm sure I could I could boost that up even a little bit further 
So there you go. That's my second system. I've done the uh, next book, 10.1, and now this is a Dell Latitude E6410. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.